Hello everyone. Today we shall study lesson 1 our constitution. So children, let us know about the features of constitution. The constitution is the supreme law of India. It is the longest written constitution in the world. It is a document which describes the rights and duties of its citizens and the way in which it is governed now let us know about the main aims of its preamble yani uddeshika jise hum prastavna ke naam se bhi jante hain preamble is the soul of our constitution the preamble can be referred to as the preface which highlights the entire constitution let us know about some important aims of preamble the first aim is to provide a sovereign state yani samprabhu rajya the second aim is to provide socialist state yani samajik rajya in which we get equality in the economic status the third important aim is to provide a secularist state every religion is treated equally now come to the fourth aim the fourth aim is to make democratic republic where people elect its government now let us know about our fundamental rights fundamental rights are those rights which are essential for intellectual moral spiritual development of citizens of india as these rights are essential for existence and all round development of individuals there are six fundamental rights recognized by the indian constitution let us know some of our fundamental rights number one right is right to equality in which all the citizens of india will be treated equally the second right is right to freedom it includes freedom of speech and expression assembly association or union movement residence and right to practice any profession or occupation next right is right against exploitation it prohibits all form of forced labor child labor and trafficking of human beings next right is right to freedom of religion it includes freedom of conscience and free profession practice propagation of religion and freedom to manage religious affairs our next right is cultural and educational rights article 21a of the constitution of india provides free and compulsory education of all children in the age group of 6 to 14 years as a fundamental right and the last one is right to constitutional remedies article 32 of the indian constitution gives the right to everyone to move to the supreme court to seek justice now let us know about directive principles of state policy in constitution some directions have been given to the government to keep in mind while making policies which are called directive principles there are 10 directive principles now we shall know about some of the directive principles such as the government shall make such policies by which everyone has a means of livelihood children should get free education and dignified environment for their development 
there should not be any discrimination in terms of wages and labor on the basis of gender making efforts to protect the environment forests and wildlife providing free legal aid so that justice can be provided the poor people let us know about some of the fundamental duties we should abide by the constitution and respect its ideals institutions the national flag and the national anthem we should protect and enrich natural environment which includes forests lakes rivers and wild animals and have the feeling of compassion for all the living beings we should safeguard public property and stay away from violence so children we have learned about our constitution preamble directive principle fundamental rights and fundamental duties that's all for today children thank you